Our lesson today deals with uh, aim number four of the Einstein equation, which is determining relative formula mass of the analyte. Now, there are two ways of finding the relative formula mass. One, RFM is equal to mass in grams of a number of moles, or RFM is equal to concentration in gram per team cubed divided by concentration in mole per team cubed. Example one. 25 centimeters cubed of 4.0 gram per team cubed sodium hydroxide completely reacted with 0.15 grams of a diabetic acid. Determine the relative formula mass of the diabetic acid. Now, to answer this question, the first step is always to identify which one is the standard solution, which one is the analyte. The analyte is the diabetic acid, while sodium hydroxide is the standard solution. Now, steps followed to answer this question is as follows. One, determine the molarity of sodium hydroxide given by mass per liter of a molar mass. Step two, determine the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, molarity times volume of a thousand. Write the equation for the reaction took place. And then next, use mole ratio, determine the number of moles of basic acid. Now the last step is to determine the RFM of the acids by taking mass in grams given 0 0.15 divided by the number of moles in step above. Solution. Molarity of sodium hydroxide is equal to mass per liter of a molar mass. Molar mass of sodium hydroxide 23 plus 16 plus 1 gives you 40 gram per mole and 4.0 gram per dm cubed. Divide by 40 gram per mole gives you 0 0.1 mole per dm cubed, which is the same as 0 0.1 molar. Now, number of moles of sodium hydroxide is MV of 1000, which is 0 0.1 times 25 over 1000, gives you 0 0.0025 moles. The equation for the reaction is sodium hydroxide plus the basic acid means the number of hydrogen is 2, so it becomes H2A arrow Na2A plus water. Balance the equation, place 2 with the sodium hydroxide and 2 with this water. More ratio becomes 2 to 1. Now, from the more ratio of 2 to 1, the moles of the basic acid is given by 2 contains 0 0.0025 moles. Or about 1 and cross multiply 0 0.0025 moles times 1 over 2 is the same as 0 0.00125 moles. Hence, relative formula mass of the acid is given by mass in grams over number of moles, which is 0 0.15 over 0 0.00125, which is equals to 120. 2, which is a paper 3 question. You have provided solution S containing 4.9 grams of sulfuric six acid per liter of solution. Solution T containing 5.3 grams of a metal carbonate X2 carbonate per liter of solution. You are required to find the RM of X in X2 carbonate. Procedure. Fill the burette to solution S. Pipette 25 centimeters cube to solution T into a conical of flask, add 2-3 drops of metal orange into solution T, titrate solution T against solution S, record the result in the table below and repeat the procedure two or more times. The values of the titer are shown in the table below. Remember that when you are filling the table, your values must be recorded to one decimal place and two or three values must be within a range of plus or minus 0 0.1. A. Determine the average volume of solution as used. Now, when you're doing the average, you either average two or three values which are within a range of plus or minus 0 0.1. So in my case, all the values have a range of plus or minus 0 0.1. So it's equals to 25, plus 25.1 plus 25.0 divided by 3 
Kimi 25.03 same transcript. B. Calculate the molarity of solution S. So solution S in my case here is a standard solution. So molarity of S, I'm given gram per dm cubed. I'll say molarity is given by mass per liter of a molar mass. RFM of sulfuric acid is 2 times 1, plus 32, plus 16 times 4, so 98 gram per mole. And molarity is 4.9 grams per dm cubed, divided by 98 gram per mole, which is 0 0.05 mole per dm cubed, which is the same as 0 0.05 molar. Calculate the number of moles of solution T that the reacted. Now solution T is the analyte, so the number of moles should be obtained by three steps. Three steps. First of all, doing the number of moles of S, then equation, then mole ratio, moles of T. So number of moles of S is MV over 1000, which is 0 0.05 times 25.03 per thousand will give me 0 0.001215 moles equation x2 carbonates plus sulfuric acids gives you x2 sulfates plus co2 plus water the equation is balanced therefore from the mole ratio of 1 to 1 the moles of s equal the number of moles of t which is the same as 0 0.00 which is the same as which is the same as 0 0.001215 moles d determine the molarity of solution t now the volume of t that reacted was the one with the prepared volume so molarity is number of moles times 1000 over v so it's given by 0 0.001215 times 1000 over 25, which gives me 0 0.05 molar. E, calculate the relative formula mass of X2 carbonates. So I'll say molar mass of X2 carbonate is concentration in gram per dm cubed of a concentration in mole per dm cubed. Concentration is given the question. 5.3 gram per liter. So I'd say 5.3 gram per dm cubed divided by 0 0.05 mole per dm cubed, which is equal to 106. Now to find the value of x, that is the RM of x, we'll say 2 times x plus 12 plus 16 times 3 is equal to 106. 2x plus 60 is equal to 106. Then 2x is equal to 46. Then divide by 2, divide by 2, x is 23. Learners, at the end of the lesson, the next lesson, look at the next aim, which is determining percentage composition of the analyte.